All right, guys, so it's the same day. I'm walking back to the hospital now. I just got back. It's been about like four hours, so I haven't heard anything. So I'm going to go see what's going on. So they basically gave me this car. They told me I have to go around the corner to a different building. That's where they'll give me the updates and all that. But apparently she's still in surgery. We're going on like four hours. So I don't know if that's good or bad. So I was able to sneak in the bathroom. I don't know if you guys heard me, but I had to go to a whole different type of building just to get an update for them to tell me what's going on with her. So apparently her surgery started one hour late. So she's been in surgery now for about, I think, going on four hours before it was already like four and some change so that was kind of like worrying me which is why i decided to come back and just see what's going on but hopefully she'll be done soon her doctor did say that the surgery was going to be like three or so hours but he was going to take his time because she does have stage four endometriosis so he really wanted to take his time make sure he does everything right and help her out the best way that he could which i really appreciate but yeah guys i'm going to use the bathroom now and then i'll give you guys an update when i get an update I just got done talking with the doctor. He came down to the waiting room to come and speak with me. Surgery went well, thank God. Everything went great. He removed all of her ovarian cysts. Basically, her ovaries were so swollen that they were pressing up against each other. And he actually gave me pictures of what that looks like, like of her insides, but I'm not gonna show you guys just because one, I don't know if Denise would want me to do that, and two, I don't know if YouTube allows me. Another thing is that she's still in the operating room because there's no room in the recovery rooms due to COVID. So she's gonna be staying in there for the meantime, which really sucks because if she's not in the recovery room, I don't know if I'd be able to see her today. And she also has to stay overnight until the morning, which I know she's gonna hate, but the doctor said he really wants to make sure she's good, which I don't disagree with him at all on that. But overall, guys, surgery went great. I honestly, I can't thank God enough. I'm so happy. He said she's fine and that he's really hopeful for the future. I don't know if he was talking about her condition or overall just having kids, but hey man, either way, that's just great news. So whenever I get the next update, guys, I'll be sure to let you guys know. Right, so it's like two hours later. I called the recovery room again. They don't have a room for her. So she's still inside the operator room. They're just holding her there. They don't know when they're going to get a room for her where she can actually stay. But regardless, the lady told me that it might take up to like two hours maybe to even get her a room. And at that point, visitation hours are over because right now it's about to be five o'clock and they end at seven so that kind of sucks i was trying to see if i can maneuver away or like persuade them that i can just go see her because i haven't seen her since she got out of surgery but being with covid they're really strict and honestly this really really sucks but there's only so much i could do but the nurse did tell me that she's fine she's awake um she said she was gonna let her know that i'm calling beasting basically so it sounds like she's in really good hands i really do like this hospital they've been really good with giving me updates the doctor i love him he's like very knowledgeable i 100 trust him with everything he's done but i'm I'm on my way back home now because there's nothing I can actually do at this point and I guess I'll see you guys when I get home. Yo, for those of you that live in New York City, please tell me why you live in New York City. I can't deal with this traffic. Oh my God. I've been at the same spot for like the past 20 minutes, bruh. Nice buildings though. So I finally made it back home. I kid you not, it took an hour and 45 minutes for a trip that usually takes like 25 to 30. I absolutely hate New York City, but it is what it is. Honestly, at this point, I'm just gonna make some food for the dogs and I'm just gonna wait for Janice to call me. She should be getting her phone back sometime tonight. So whenever she calls me, I'll make sure to start recording so you guys can see her, see that she's well. It's gonna be my first time seeing her since the surgery. So I'm actually excited for whenever that call happens. I guess I'll see you guys then. Fast forward, I think like two hours, guys. So I just got a call from her nurse. Her nurse basically told me that they had just got a room. Oddly enough, they got the room right when visitation hours end. So I would have been over there all this time for no reason. Anyway, I wouldn't have been able to see her, which really sucks. But they just got her into her room. Her nurse said that she doesn't have her phone or anything like that. That's all still with security. They have to work on getting all her stuff back to her. The nurse did say though that she was gonna have Janice call me from the hospital phone, but I haven't received any calls yet. But it's probably because Janice is gonna wanna FaceTime, I'm sure. But on a side note, my mom actually went on vacation. So I have to go to her house, I have to feed her dogs take the dogs out for like a little walk let them use the bathroom and whatnot i'm gonna bring the camera with me just in case janice ends up calling me this way i can answer the phone on camera and you guys can see her the same time i do for the first time since the surgery so if you guys see a change in scenery or you guys see that i'm in a different house or anything just know that i'm at my mom's i just brought the camera with me all right guys so she's calling let's see hi hi what's wrong <laughs> How do you feel? <laughs> you can hear me? You okay? Yep, and they just took the oxygen tank off of me. I couldn't really breathe well. Where are you? I'm at my mom's house. They didn't let you come. Yeah, I know. Are you by yourself? Yeah. In your own room? 
Yeah, it's nice. Oh, you got what you wanted. Yeah, look. Oh, it is nice. Come on, show the show them. Okay. Guys, look, that's her own room. She got her own little personal room. Sorry, I'm shaking. I'm sorry if you hear singing. That is the guy next door. He's Dominican singing his songs. It's a nice room. I mean, I got a really comfortable bed. You got anything you want to say to the camera? I love you guys so much. And I did it. Damn right you did. I told you you could do and it. I, and I just walked right now. Like on your own? And I, yep. And then I had, I was able to, to use the bathroom. Nice. When can I pick you up? I'll go get you right now. Oh. Nope. Oh no. Alright guys, so we just had some technical difficulties. She's like cutting in and out. I don't really know what's going on. I don't know if it's my Wi-Fi over here at my mom's house or probably over there, their Wi-Fi. I don't know, but I'm going to get in contact with her again. I'm going to catch up with her and then I'll give you guys an update of what's going on how she's feeling and all that good stuff. At least you guys got to see her, see that she's well, talk to her for a little bit, but everything went well, thank God. And I'll catch you guys up to speed in a minute. So I just got off the phone with her. I'm sorry that this video is like all over the place. It honestly sucks. I have so much to do while having to like worry about Janice. It just, the timing is just horrible, but I did get off the phone with her. She is doing great. There's not much that you guys missed anyway on camera. Cause like I said, we were having technical difficulties. She ended up calling me back. The Wi-Fi over there is tripping. She's not able to speak anyway. So it's like, I had to ask her questions and she was just nodding and like giving me thumbs up and stuff like that. So you guys didn't miss anything, but you guys did see that she's doing fine. She's smiling. She's good. Everything is great. So I think that's where we're going to end out today's video. Honestly, guys, Today's post notification shout out goes out to all of you. Honestly, your well wishes and your prayers on the last video, I was reading them today because it's the same day I'm filming this stuff. Um, this is just like the second part of the video, I guess. You guys have no idea how much of a better mood your positive comments and just your well wishes and prayers do for us. Um, I can imagine what they do for Janice because they made me feel so much better and put me in such a great mood. I was feeling horrible, but I can imagine when Janice reads them how she's gonna feel. But honestly, guys, Shout out to every single one of you. The words, it, you guys leave us speechless. We just love you guys so much. Thank you for all the love and support. We wouldn't be where we're at and we definitely wouldn't. I just don't even know what to say anymore. I love you, FNFM, honestly. I'll see you guys in the next video. Next video will be most likely bringing her home. And I'm sorry for the lighting right now. It's nighttime, obviously, but next video we should be bringing her back home. So stay tuned for that.